Hello everyone and welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So a quick bit about me before I begin. I'm a seer, so I tap into past, present, future energy. I'm a psychic medium and I'm a healer and I'm an open channel for spirit. I'm also a twin flame guide right now, so chances are if you've been guided to a channel for any reason, it could be because you're a twin flame, because I am also a twin flame. So hope, hopefully you find out as you're looking for here. So I begin all my messages the same way, call in my divine protection and support for myself and for you watching at home right now. So let's do that to begin with. Calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light, and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection throughout as I bring forward a clear message for the Twin Flame Collective. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Archangel Michael, can you please surround my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protective light at all times as I bring forward this message for the Twin Flame Collective. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Can I also request, Archangel Michael, that you surround whoever watches this message right now online, surrounding them, their loved ones, their home, and their pets in a golden bubble of God's protection also. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can you please stabilize the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring only clear and concise messages can come through the Twin Flame Collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Sending love, light and gratitude to each and every one of you. And so it is. Let's clear the energy and then I'll tell you where I think we're going to go with this. So the song coming through, um, now I'm sure this came through last year sometime, <coughs> excuse me, have I told you lately that I love you, have I told you there's no one else above you, you fill my heart with gladness, Take away my sadness, ease my troubles, that's what you do. So, someone's going to need to tell you they love you, I feel that. Now, I shuffled my scripture cards earlier and a couple of cards came out pre-shuffle. One of them was John um, chapter 1 verse 5. Another one was a Matthew one, um, so we'll see if they come out again. But let's see if there's any cards, if this, any of the scripture cards that match up with this reading. I do feel, I don't know about you guys, but I feel so much love in the air today. So much love. I've been feeling so much love the last couple of weeks, but today I just feel off the charts, like giddy with love. It's it just, there's so much love in the air right now. Um, is there... Oh, I can't. This is the card that came out. Like this is the card that came out earlier. So blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. I knew a Matthew came out earlier. So now, to mourn is not just to mourn for the passing of someone. It can you can mourn or grieve for the loss of a relationship or something as well. So someone could definitely. Um, be going through some sort of breakup right now or they could literally have lost someone close to them. Any other cards of scripture that um, represent tonight's reading in some way? As I say, I, I thought about keeping other cards out earlier, but um, I know John chapter 1 verse 5 was definitely one of them. There was a psalm as well. 
come out one of these times. Um, let me see, anything else? So somebody could really be, somebody could have been going through the loss of this connection and it's put them through a dark night of the soul. Okay, thank you. So they've given me a few cards here. So Romans 5, 8. But God get God, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were all still sinners, Christ died for us. So I mean there's no there's no denying that Christ did die for us. He he sacrificed himself for all our sins. So there could be definitely some somebody who's working with Christ right now. Um, I have hidden, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. So, and that is Psalm one one nine, eleven. So for me, this speaks of, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. This speaks to me of someone who is trying to deny the word of God over their life in some way, who may have been struggling to step back into their faith. Um, so what is this one? John 4, chapter, John chapter 4, verse 48. Unless you people are signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. So somebody was a non-believer. Now, this is the energy I'm feeling from this. Somebody is now grieving the loss of a connection. This is someone who may have denied um, denied their faith for a while. This is somebody who may not have been a, a believer in God and in Jesus and things like that. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Now, this is the one I got out earlier because look, it's Matthew 21, 22. This is the one that jumped out earlier when I was pre-shuffling. So if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. So I do believe this is someone now who's come full circle, just judging by all the the scripture that came out there. This is someone who denied their faith, could have denied you, but they, they're mourning the loss of this connection in some way. And now I think they're praying and trying to get a second chance. I just don't think this person really truly believed in the power of the divine. I'm not saying that they were, you know, they were against the divine, but I just don't believe they really had much faith or hope that things could work out in their favour, so they just gave up. Um, and this person may not have believed that um, the only, you know, that this is someone who may not believe um, the way to the Father is through the Son. Mm hmm but it could be someone from, it could be a different religion or culture from you or something. Let me see. Anything else? And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. I don't believe it. It's the same, <laughs> it's the same Romans passage. Oh, look at that. <laughs> So there's definitely a very strong message right now of people that have denied their faith, denied their their faith in God for so long and now someone is mourning and praying for a second chance here. That's the energy I feel. Bottom of the deck. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So again, everything returns to God. Everything. He, he is... You know, um, I say one of the things I always end my prayer in the morning. Um, I always, always end my prayer with saying a few things, saying, you know, my glory to God and God, you're my rock, my salvation. But I always say God is all and all is God. Now, I don't know where that came from. It just seems natural for me to say because it's true. God is all and all is God. So we need to remember that God is in all of us. The Holy Spirit is in every single one of us. And I remember someone asking me a few, years, a few years ago, saying, if the Holy Spirit's in all of us, why do people do such terrible things? You know, the Holy Spirit would stop people doing terrible things. But no, it doesn't work that way because the Holy Spirit is like, you know, and um, is, you know, I always think about the, 
Pinocchio theme with Jimmy Cricket and the and so the Holy Spirit is your voice of your your voice of compassion and reason and also um you know like when you it's your your conscience the Holy Spirit is your conscience so that's why you get a guilty one because if you don't listen to the, your your inner knowing that something is wrong and you go against that and go do something that you know you shouldn't do then you're going against the Holy Spirit within you so Yes, everyone has the Holy Spirit within them. Whether they choose to listen to the Holy Spirit or not, that's a very different story. So let's get some energy through the cards here to see what this overall reading could be about. Now I've got the Twin Flame Ascension deck tonight. I have, I have Heart and Soul deck to get some guidance for your soul. And I've also got Angel Guidance and we've got the Tarot as well. So let's have a look and see. I just there's definitely a, so much love in the air. Definitely twin flame energy, but definitely someone who may have been caught in a connection with a twin flame, but we'll dig a wee bit deeper. I'm hearing bruised ego. Somebody has had a, somebody has a very bruised ego, either masculine or someone they're connected to. Somebody has a bruised ego. Somebody is missing you. And I, I felt this through the open this reading. There's someone here who's deeply in love with you and who's never told you. But they're missing you. The crying nostalgia missing you. I feel heartbroken energy from this person. This person um, sabotaged this connection with you. Now, they could have been, either you caught them out for another situation, or this person was in some sort of toxic connection. See that there? Toxic connection at the bottom. Now, for me, this, this broken mirror card reminds me of um, a karmic twin of some kind. So I don't like the term twin flame, uh, false twin flame rather. Because all that is is a copycat karmic who's trying to copy the twin flame's energy. So he could have been in some sort of toxic connection here with someone who was not his twin, broken mirror. A toxic version of his twin. No contact. This person is in no contact with you right now. They're they're giving you silent treatment or you're giving them the silent treatment, cut off all communications. So make it rain. So it says manifesting abundance, legal matters are working out in your favor, unexpected money, promotion or entrepreneurial. So there could be, this masculine could be going through a legal matter right now and it could be about to go in your favor. I'll know, I'll clarify this with the the um, tarot or this is you divine feminine you're sitting in this abundant energy you're making it rain for yourself <laughs> sisters are doing it for themselves so yeah there's definitely somebody has major regret here for the way they handled the situation with you they wish they told you they loved you they wish they'd worked harder to make the connection work with you Unknown caller, stalking, hang up, unknown numbers. So somebody wrote in the comments the other day they're getting private numbers and unknown numbers lately. Me too. A lot of um, caller ID, um, private number, um, a lot of weird mobile numbers and I don't answer any of them. So there's definitely, collectively, I feel there's a lot of divine feminines who are getting this right now. A lot of you could be getting um, private numbers, withheld numbers and things. They're probably karmics who are now trying to, yeah, look, this person's ex could be phoning you from private numbers because I feel a lot of divine feminines now because the masculines are all walking away from karmic connections and I'm not, I can't say all, but there is a mass um, separation, ending of karmic cycles going on right now. So there's many, many, many masculines that, are walking away from 
their karmic situations to be with their divine feminines, which is then triggering the exes, the karmic exes, to start hassling and stalking the divine feminine. So a lot of you could be getting that. So just be just be um, vigilant right now about any missed calls or weird goings on when it's private numbers and things like that. Because I do feel there's a lot of angry karmic energies on the rampage right now. So determined. So persistent, still holding on, flowers and gifts. Now, the fact this came out after the ex or tells me there's an ex here who's been very persistent. But I also feel your masculine wants to be persistent now with you. Um, but I do feel with the unknown caller, the ex and um, determined card coming out, that tells me there's an ex determined not to let a masculine go here or not to let you away with it, Divine Feminine. <laughs> Even though there's nothing they can do. You know, they, they can't they can't overpower God. <laughs> can't they can't overpower Archangel Michael. <laughs> so do you see the fed up, cutting ties, walking away. So this is your masculine. This is your masculine now. They're they're done. They're cutting ties with this um karmic ex. They're done. They've had enough. I feel they're so drained. They're so exhausted. They're so tired of all of it. They're so tired of the drama and the, the karmic behaviour. They just miss you. They miss your beautiful, serene, calming energy. And they know what they have to do. They know what they have to do. <laughs> toxic people and childish. This person has been surrounded by toxic energies. Probably this karmic, their friends, the karmic's friends. This masculine probably, I'm going to tell you what I feel here. And generally that's true. I feel like drama and spotlight, toxic people. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I feel because this now clarifies when I saw the limelight card. I feel your person has been pretty starved of attention. Um, Maybe as a child they were never really got much attention they could have been an only child or maybe the youngest of a group of siblings they didn't really their older siblings had maybe left home or something and their parents just couldn't be bothered at that point <laughs> i know that's certainly what it's like in my house um so this person craved attention they like to be in the, this masculine craved attention and whatever whoever this ex is that they were with maybe they had a group of friends who Maybe this masculine was like the life and soul of the party and every time he was around them, they were all loving having him around. But when he met you, Divine Feminine, it triggered him into his awakening possibly and now all this toxic group and this ex are like, oh no, you can't take him away from us. You're not taking away our, you're not taking away our masculine. We don't want him to change and suddenly stop, you know, drinking or partying. We don't want you to take that away. So I feel there's... A group of people here keeping this masculine stuck <coughs> or a group of people who were being very childish in the the tactics they were using to keep this masculine stuck. Yeah, look, envy. Whoever this ex is and whoever these toxic people are that surround this ex, jealous. They do not want this masculine to move on and be happy with you and live a happy life, even though this masculine is destined to do that. They can't stop this. Mm -mm. Yeah, they're just been look, distractions. Whoever this ex is, this jealous ex is, they've just been trying to distract this masculine. I'm not even going to comment on that, but there you go. That's what they've been distracting your masculine with. Jezebel energy. And I don't use Jezebel term very often. In fact, never. But it caused your person to give you the cold shoulder. It caused your person to, to go silent on you and block you or something. Ghost you. Yeah. This, whoever this ex was, they used all the dirty tricks in the book. But it's not worked. And I'll tell you why it has not worked. <laughs> because your person is taking guidance now. 
if your person is going through some sort of um, healing journey, awakening journey, um, I'll get some information on what they're working with with the angels and stuff, but this person is now taking healing and guidance and stepping into their faith. This was someone who did not have faith. This is someone who lost their faith. This is somebody who was attached to a group who could have been spiritual haters, who could have been the opposite of you, Divine Feminine. Um, but there's some communication coming in here. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Guards are back to front. Unfinished business, okay? So it says proposal, forgiveness and reconciliation. And get it right, Arlene? And look, reconciliation card. So this person does want to come in here and get your forgiveness and reconcile. I, they were distracted here by a very toxic group who did not have any belief. Now, from the scripture cards, it told me straight away this masculine had no um, intentions of stepping into faith. They were the opposite of that. They were probably denying. Um, they were probably denying anything about faith. <laughs> Now they're fully in their faith and now they're fully appreciating self-love and self-care. And I feel you taught them this. Intimacy. Passion coming into union. Chemistry and missing you. You taught this masculine all about self-love. Mm -hmm. Over toxic love. You showed them the difference between self-love Real love and toxic love. Whatever they had with this ex, it was just all purely lust. Shamed. This masculine is not speaking to you right now because they're ashamed. And I tell this to people all the time. Yeah, look, this masculine played mind games with you. They played mind games because of this, um, this whoever this ex was. Whatever this toxic friend group or something was with the ex. But soul contract. Coming into union and peaceful resolution. So it says compromising, making amends, a positive outcome, soulmates, partnership, spiritual union. So I definitely, when I opened out this reading, I felt so much love come through from this masculine. But yeah. I felt stubborn energy, somebody who had denied, and I'm, I'm not even going to say deny God because that's not a nice thing to say. He denied all the stuff that you believed in. He, you know, if you prayed and stuff like that, he refused to, he was like, well, I don't pray. I'm not going to do that. That's not my thing. I just, you know, I just want to live my life. I just want to have fun. And he was, he was in a subtoxic group here who was the opposite of you, Divine Feminine. As I say, if you're, um, very much connected to God and in your faith and everything but this masculine is now the opposite they're, they're the opposite because um, the other scripture card we got was if you pray and you, you come to God and you pray your prayers will be answered so this masculine has been told now when you actually prove that you are willing to step up here and put, put your faith back in me, you will get what you pray for. I'm going to get some um, tarot on this, but this is, yeah, this masculine definitely was held back here by toxic people, um, toxic ex. Yeah. <laughs> Karma, divine intervention and facing, facing demons. This is what's happening now to the karmic energies. And probably your masculine. Broke, fired, living beyond their means. Stubborn, guilty, fighting. This is what your masculine chose. When they were stubborn about their, their connection with you, they chose this. They chose karma. They chose to lose everything. They chose to receive karma with the karmic energy. They feel guilty and disappointed in themselves. They feel guilty and ashamed because all they're doing now is fighting with the karmics. Yeah, they're not. They are not speaking to you because this person was block was given no contact due to playing mind games in the past, and now they want to communicate. 
Um, and it's purely because they've now walked away from this energy. But I'm going to clarify that. But yeah, this... Oops, there was one of the cards back front there. Oh yeah, sorry, it was the fighting. Oh, look. Look what was back to front of the deck. Fighting and the eggs. <laughs> so this person is literally fighting with their karmic eggs. They're fighting with their karmic eggs. So th that tells you all you need to know. And I just split the deck on the 11-11 card. So this is a twin flame union coming in here. But like, hey, look. Hiding the true feelings for you. I I'm telling you, that's why this song is how I told you lately that I loved you. Have I told you there's no one else above you? This person was drawn in to some sort of toxic or drawn back into a toxic connection with a, an ex um, and their, their shady friends here. Um, purely all through sacral chakra. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Um, I'm not even going to give it any more thought than that because I think we all know um, I don't really want to go too much into it, um, but yeah, it's just the same old, same old, isn't it? Same old, same old. <sighs> Empress. So Divine Feminine, this is you. You are just sitting and you are in your purpose. You are standing in your light. You are just, you're at the point where you're like, have they come back? Great. I'll deal with it when they come back. If they don't come back, great. I'm happy. You are just sitting. You are not, um, you're at the point now where, yeah, you know you love the person. You know they made the wrong choice or whatever. And you probably know deep down your person loves you too. Because if you're loving on yourself, you'll know your twin is loving you. Simple as that. If you're pouring self-love into yourself, if you're pouring self-love, if you're pouring love into yourself, then you know that your masculine loves you. Because that they can't do anything else but love you if you're loving every single part of you and your shadow as well. So you're just sitting in your empress energy here. You're just like, if they come back, cool. I'll make time for them. I'll free up some space in my busy diary and we can maybe go for a coffee. But if they don't come back, I'm going to be having the time of my life this year. So that's the energy I get from you, Divine Feminine. And that is perfect energy to be in, let me tell you. Yeah, look, the sun, oh my goodness, and Ace of Pentacles. Wow, you are happy. You're getting your Ace of Pentacles, whatever you're Divine Feminine. You, whatever happens here, whether you accept your masculine back or not, you're getting happiness and a new beginning. Yeah, you are, you are getting it all. You are getting it all. You are getting... Everything, you're getting all the blessings you deserve here. And let me just say for all Divine Feminines. Now, that, no offence Divine Masculine, because I know when you step in, fully step into your power, and a lot of you are. I've done quite a few readings in the last week or so for Divine Masculines, and wow, the energy is off the charts. So Divine Masculines, I know when you step up and you, you know, get out of these karmic situations, you're going to really be a, a force to reckon with in a good way but divine feminines the work you've done collectively the energy is just beautiful it's enchanting it's so serene and calm I was out walking the dog today and it's just like such a beautiful calm energy it was just there wasn't even apart from the birds and there was warmth coming from the sun there wasn't even any cars around or anything it was just so quiet and still and I, felt, I thought this is beautiful divine feminine calm serene energy you're all doing an incredible job. I just want to tell you that. So, King of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. So, there's a King of Swords you could be connected to on your sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. But they're just wanting to communicate now and they want to work on things with you. Tell me more about this um, masculine coming back in here. I told you, planning. I got the planning card. I told you this masculine's planning. Now, they could be planning some sort of surprise entrance into your life. Um, I feel like a lot of Divine Masculines now, that I'm, and I haven't been watching readings, but I'm seeing a lot of titles of readings on my my feed, and I am keep on getting things. 
expect a surprise from this person. This person is going to be surprising you. Your masculine is going to step up out the blue. So I feel that that's a collective energy right now. There's a lot of, um, now my right ear is ringing, um, which is the masculine side, but also um, it's the Holy Spirit. So this masculine is definitely, if this masculine was denying, um, you know, because I, I just heard, I just heard someone could have been that denying the only way to the Father is through the Son type of thing. Nine of Wands. This person's exhausted fighting his emotions, fighting. <coughs> I just feel this masculine was, this masculine felt like he was, he had no right to pray because of the toxic lifestyle he was living. As I say, this masculine was someone who craved attention and he was getting attention like he, he may not have been a big drinker, but suddenly with this group, he was a big drinker. He may not have been a smoker, but suddenly he would start smoking to impress this group. And they're all like, oh, he's so cool. He's so cool. That's the energy I feel. <coughs> and I feel this mask has been wearing a mask for so long with this group. You actually saw the real them. This masculine was definitely trying to fit in here with a toxic group. I feel he was trying to... Um, you know, it was almost like peer pressure. He was trying to fit in, like in school, he maybe never had that many friends or something. And then when he suddenly had this group of people who were interested in hanging out with him and they were into the same kind of toxic things as him, you know, where it was, I'm not even going to say it, but you know what I'm saying, you know. Um, and yeah, four of wands and ten of pentacles in the bottom. I'm telling you, this union's coming in very soon. And this union is going to bring a huge wave of change into both your lives. I'm feeling like a sudden change. Like, um, you know, like you could be living in a little tenement flat somewhere, one bedroom flat, just you and your cat. And this masculine comes back here and you have some sort of reconciliation. They apologise, they do a bit of grovelling. They tell you they we're so sorry for denying this connection you know we didn't see it before I know I know I'm in my faith you know you'd be proud of me I've been working with God um because my left and right ears are in <laughs> um but there's this person is wanting to show you how much they've grown and matured but I feel that when this person comes back and you guys reconcile here it's going to literally, it's going to feel like you've woke up from a dream. Yeah, you've woke up from an illusion. Seven of Cups. It's going to actually feel like, you're going to actually feel, is this real? Because there's going to be so much positivity crackling around you both. I mean, I honestly feel like, like crackling positivity, like white crackling energy around you. It's almost like you guys are going to just, yeah. Look, justice and love. Justice is coming in for this love connection. There, It's clear to see this masculine loves you and adores you. And I can feel from your age, your divine family, you're the empress. So there's no doubt about it. You're sitting in the energy of compassion and unconditional love for yourself and for your, your twin. Um, but there's justice coming in here now, so, which makes me think something very unjust happened a romantic offer is on the way knight of cups and i'm telling you this mask is going to probably just um yeah knight of pentacles an offer coming in a romantic offer coming in from a king of pentacles so this person this person has now got themselves into the energy of being reliable and honest i think they want to be someone you can trust now after making, yeah, this person's ready to defend themselves, but they also want to apologise for the fact they were so defensive about, I mean, this person seemed to, it's almost like this person made you, made you out like a, you're a weirdo because you had a faith in God. And now this person um, has faith. Three of Cups, Queen of Cups, 
So you could be a Cancerian or Pisces. So this person was stuck in the Knight of Wands energy. They were stuck in the Knight of Wands energy. Um, but they've got feelings and emotions to express to you here. Divine Feminine, as I say, you could be a Cancer or a Pisces. We did get a lot of Pisces energy last night. But this, yeah. Look, Three of Cups came out a minute ago and the Six of Wands. This is going to be a victory in love. A victory in life. This person, I'll be honest, I, I feel this person's getting their strength up here to be down on one knee. <laughs> this person is getting the courage here. I feel like they're just like, I can't leave this any longer. I have to make an impactful offer here that's going to let her know how much she means to me. Yeah, page of cups. They know they have to come in here honest and vulnerable and ready to show you how much they, you mean to them, nine of cups. To make all your wishes come true. This masculine's planning something. <laughs> Two. Two of Pentacles and a, a, sorry, Two of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. This person could have been juggling you with a Queen of Pentacles. They don't have to be an air sign. Could have just been someone who is happy to take this masculine's money. Ace of Swords. This masculine's being really said about speaking the truth to you about this situation. So they could have had a Queen of Pentacles from their past. Um, but this masculine's coming in to communicate to you. You're sitting in this energy right now. You're completely independent, moving forward in your own divine feminine. This masculine's travelling towards you here with some sort of offer. Yeah, divine feminine, you're on the chariot on your own. <laughs> you, you are on the chariot. You are no longer um, stuck in your head about this. You're kind of in the, the energy of whatever will be, will be. <laughs> Five of Cups and Queen of Wands. Now, this is either your masculines in deep regret over how they treated you, Divine Feminine, or this is a Queen of Wands who's um, connected to your masculine that's in deep regret here. But I think, yeah, I think it could be your masculine that's in deep regret here for whatever they felt like they did to a Queen of Wands here because they're now, this masculine is now walking away. They're leaving their burdens behind. They want a new beginning. Yeah, this masculine was so distracted with conflict. Could have been by a Queen of Swords. They were so distracted and not focused on love or God. But I feel like God was like, no, you will listen, you will pay attention and you will understand that if you want a better life for yourself, if you want to end this karmic cycle you've got yourself stuck in, because this masculine I feel is going through a lot of karma. If you want to end this energy, you better start having faith. Because this is someone who I do, as I say, this is a masculine who had no faith. And then he went through some sort of major tower moment or something, um some sort of epiphany moment, a tower moment, uh, whatever this is. And he, I feel like he, the, at that point, realised everything that he had probably been making a full of you for, Divine Feminine. Yeah, look. Judgment, which is an spiritual awakening, and Dark Night of the Soul. And in that Dark Night of the Soul, he's been totally submerged in the Holy Spirit. He has been totally submerged in the Holy Spirit. And now he's rushing back in here for a new cycle with you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. He's sailing away from deception. He knows that he's he has 
a lot of truth to come forward with here, but he's now using his intuition about this connection. He's now using his intuition about, and it's purely because, as I say, I feel see how it's all that white light around there. And as I say, the Holy Spirit's been coming through quite loudly in my right ear and in my masculine side. So this masculine is definitely, um, is definitely working with the Holy Spirit right now. And as I say, this was someone who was not, um, this was someone who did not believe, they might not even have, I mean, this is someone who, who might not even want to celebrate Christmas because they don't even really believe in, you know, that kind of thing. Or I just feel this is someone who is the complete opposite of a believer in God and a believer in the divine. And I feel like he's seeing signs now that is making him believe. He's definitely seeing signs that are making him believe. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, um, yeah, I'm getting that song now. Um, you made me a, you made me a believer, believer. Yeah, look, again, I keep shuffling and those cards keep coming out. This person regrets not seeing the signs sooner. Yeah, he's definitely in a dark night of the soul. Definitely in a dark night of the soul. But look. Chariot and Queen of Cups. Six of Swords. They are moving towards their Divine Feminine here. But also I feel the Divine Feminine, you're, you're taking this opportunity to move forward yourself. Let's get a bit more... What will I go to now? Let's get some Zodiac signs with this deck. But yeah, as I say, this masculine was definitely, I, I just keep, I, I don't know who sung that song, is it the, um, just saw the engagement ring as soon as I split the deck. This person is going from a, a non, look, <laughs> communication engagement ring. This person has gone from a non-believer, no faith, <laughs> twin flame union. A non-believer, no faith, and now they are like, I feel they want to marry you in the most godly way. New beginning and new beginning in twin flames, new cycle twin flames. What I mean is, this person I think wants to marry you in such a beautiful setting in a house of God. They want to. Pisces just come out. They want um this person definitely and cancer as well. Pisces and cancer. I picked up Pisces and cancer heavily through the, the tarot spread. This person, I think, wants to do everything the right way. Somebody could be very creative because the creative card is the first card out. So somebody you and this person could have really creative talents. You could be artists. Someone's getting some sort of upgrade in their chakras, completely um, getting completely healed and their chakras opening up. Now this could also signify your person had a lot of creativity blocked or you have Divine Feminine. Like if you've had a blockage in your solar plexus or something, your sacral chakra, it blocks your creativity. So somebody could need to have um, had like some sort of blockages removed for their creativity. So leap of faith, so leap of faith is going to be required on both parts, let's see what else, oops, Archangel Michael, and I made the wrong choice. So Archangel Michael obviously protects every single twin flame connection, but I feel Archangel Michael is working overtime right now. Um, and all the other archangels. And let me tell you, it's not just the archangels, the universe is at work for all of the twin flames right now. All the higher dimensional beings, I feel it's like all hands on deck. Like God's just like, right, all hands on deck, let's do it. <laughs> let's get them all back together this year. I feel that's the energy because there's the, I feel the union energy is so strong at the moment. Don't give up. Keep fighting. Nine of Wands energy. You just don't give up. The Twin Flame Runner. So your Twin Flame Runner's been told by the Divine now, don't give up. There's hope. 
you trust me your person will understand if you speak your truth and tell them now that you love them and that you want to move on wish fulfillment for these twin flames i mean come on seriously and look what's right behind that again so divine feminine if you've been wishing for your person to come in and make an offer to you that involves something sparkly that goes on your finger then i think you could be about to get your wish <laughs> can see the energy definitely divinely guided um somebody could be moving out of a third party situation they could be actually having to get a new home so this person could either be moving out of a home that because they don't want the third party to be able to stalk them and watch them anymore or they're actually having to move out of a third party situation um or this is you divine family take it as it resonates somebody definitely has cancer and pisces in their chart very watery very emotional we did get a lot of the moon and the chariot and the queen of cups cupid's arrow has struck so if someone was too focused on this before, which I'm, I definitely feel they were, <laughs> I'm just going to be honest, I'm just going to be real, this person is definitely more focused on that. Um, they're no longer in that energy. They know they made the wrong choice there. Any other zodiac signs? Pisces and Scorpio, any other zodiac signs in the charts of the people involved here? This twin flame couple, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. Oh, Gemini, and one other card wanted to jump out here as well. Divine blessings. Again, so much about blessings coming in and wish fulfillment. Scorpio, my goodness, someone has a lot of water in their chart here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm sure. All the water signs come out a few nights ago as well so this is definitely a very watery um <laughs> connection in the, the best possible sense you're both very emotional people um or certainly your your masculine is now i betray your trust i want to make it up to you energy communication is going to bring in a new beginning here in the 1010 so you could be seeing a lot of 1010 any other zodiac signs here or just the water signs and we've got the water signs and one gemini so the the masculine did come in and the king of swords so he could be a gemini or have gemini in his chart look twin flame union in divine timing infinity symbol powerful love union coming in in the year of infinity in divine timing Twin flame union. So I definitely feel this union is coming in and it's going to be so abundant and epic. As all twin flame unions are going to be, by the way. And and do you know something? When one starts, it's like a domino effect. And I feel there's so many that are so close. Especially I look at a lot of the divine fem uh, divine masculine reads I'm doing as well. Um there's there's so much beautiful love and union energy in the air, so I'm excited for you all. So let's see. Well, that's so strange because half the deck fell on the table and the only two cards I was left holding was the Leo card and the sunflowers. <laughs> so it could be a happiness coming in for a Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart. A peaceful resolution here and it could start with an olive branch coming from someone um is that all we're done with yeah and sag and bottom as i stop shuffling so a bit of fire a bit of air i'm sure i did see virgo at some point but mostly water so you're you could have a lot of um water placements in your moon in your moon placement in your venus placements for some of you yeah a cart look look white feather strong spirit support so as i said i definitely feel the holy spirit is with this masculine a lot right now where will i go i'm going to get um let's get some angel guidance we'll get some twin flame ascension card and then we shall oh and then it'll get some heart and soul cards to come 
not doing too badly. Can I get some um, um, angel guidance, please? For this masculine, this feminine, what, what you want to advise or what's going on for this connection. What's coming in for this masculine now that he's stepped into his faith? And this masculine gets the courage to come forward towards his divine feminine. What's coming in for this couple, please? Or what's this masculine working? Well, just what I feel. <laughs> I'll let you see them all in a moment. I did say I feel the masculine's walked out of a karmic situation or walked away. There's lots of masculines in this area right now, just to let you know that. Transformation, walking away, leaving a situation behind, answering the call. So renewal of connections. So reconciliations, intimacy, forgiveness and reunion. Oh my, that's just flew out the deck. Look at that. So this masculine has left a situation or this group of masculines, whatever this, this could be more than one masculine I'm reading for. Um, and they're heading towards you for reconciliation, divine feminine. Self-employment. So you and this person could be about to have your own business or your person could be self-employed already. You could be self-employed, divine feminine too. Self-worth, affirmations, independent and motivated. This is your energy, divine feminine. Look at that. That is beautiful. I told you you're coming as Empress, Nine of Pentacles. You could have your own um, business, Divine Feminine. Um, Archangel Raphael Green, love, travel, harmony and vitality. So Archangel Raphael is definitely healing the heart chakra of this masculine and definitely trying to open you both up to your loving connection, harmonious connection here. Anything else you can tell me, please? For this connection. You and this masculine could be about to start a business together as well. Archangel Michael, blue, wise, honest, trustworthy and observant. So Archangel Michael is working with this masculine to push them to come in here in a very honest, integral way to speak the truth and show you how reliable they are now. And honestly, I always say this, when your masculine comes back divine feminine, when you're healed and focus completely on yourself like the energy I've been picking up in this reading the divine will not let your masculine come back until they are in the same energy until they are in the same frequency so you know when your masculine comes back they've learned their karmic lessons they've paid they've paid the karmic debts and they're stepped into their faith and their their calling so but this only happens when you're fully healed and you feel in union with yourself I mean, if your person's been texting you on and off every single day for years, then that's likely not to happen. I'll be honest. <laughs> Communication. There we go. Communication. So accuracy, expansion, intimacy and honesty. So this person is going to be honest. Reality check. Um, assessment. Ex explore, exploration. Honesty and determination. Again, honesty. This person has had some sort of reality check <laughs> and they're having to come in here and be honest now. Archangel Michael is making sure of it. This person's got to come back correct. They've got to come back in this honest energy. As I say, they've got to have integrity and be trustworthy now if they want to come back. Archangel Jophiel, pink, compassion, self-care, simplification and beauty. So there's another card of self-love, self-care. And remember one of the first cards I got out was self-love and I said I think you've taught this masculine all about self-love and how to give themselves some love. I feel you have done that for this masculine by doing that for yourself, Divine Feminine. <laughs> Sorry, they've just literally poured half the deck out on. <laughs> no, 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 I can't. Okay, so which one have I to take? That one. Sorry. <laughs> okay. That one and that one. Any of these ones? No. Any of these ones? Yes. Okay. 
I'm going to put these back in because I'm not sure which one of these to take. So in, any other ones in this time that we may have to date, please. And I'll show you the ones that came out there that they want me to show you. So they come out on their own. So let's see. Any other ones? Before I get the, the Twin Flame Ascension deck. Any other cards? I think my... Oh, one more. Okay. I thought that's the one they told me to take, but I didn't want to assume anything. So they just wanted to clarify it. So... So it says divine magic, wishes, goals, dreams and accomplishments. So wishes are coming true here. Rainbow blessings are being showered upon this connection. Guardian angel, white, protection, clarity, spirituality and wisdom. So a lot of beautiful guardian angel energy around you both. This beautiful white, powerful white energy is just beautiful. And it's around a lot of the collective right now because of your guardian angels. Yeah, your guardian angels are working so hard to get you over the finish lines here you're all so close to union energy and when this happens it's just going to be I, I just see gold dust gold dust everywhere it's like you know like when you see like um the end of movies and they're looking up to the sky and there's just like gold it's like gold rain from the sky i just feel like gold dust raining from the sky it's just going to be so beautiful so have confidence strength balance prepared and tranquil so i do feel the masculine's getting prepared and I think the Divine Feminine is already prepared. Archangel Zagiel, Destiny, Pride, Consciousness and Forgiveness. So I recently have um, had the great honour of working with Archangel Zagiel and it really, really helped me, um, really helped me to focus on all the things I know I can, I can forgive because um, some of the things that worry me is just like, oh, what happens when it comes down to it and what happens if I can't forgive? But I know I can forgive and that's what Archangel Zagiel reminded me of. It's like, you're a pure hearted person. You can forgive anyone, anything and it's because of your heart and, you, and it's true. I can forgive anyone of anything. I mean, people are even trying to unalive me and I still think, well, if they needed me, I'd be there for them. <laughs> and it's because I know I am capable of forgiving anyone and so I don't need to worry about that and Archangel Zagiel reminded me of that today and it was true, I will forgive anyone. Career transition, so change, excitement, opportunities and advancement. So remember we got that, um, oh yeah, self-employment. So look, somebody is definitely having a career change and maybe starting their own business here or you've already done that Divine Feminine or your masculine's about to do that with you. Abundance, faith, optimism, excitement and breakthrough. So I'm just focusing on the word faith and the fact that your masculine is now definitely moving into that energy of faith, um, which is what has changed this connection, I believe. You're ready, momentum, validation, encouragement and prepared. Again, that word prepared. This masculine is ready. He's ready to take action. And point of view, gratitude, assistance, guidance, and understanding. Look, look at that. This tells you, so your masculine is this, ignoring all the signs, the feathers, ignoring their their faith, their beliefs. They weren't, didn't have any beliefs. And now look, like hallelujah. <laughs> this person has now seen the light. And I can't believe how this reading has matched up with the scripture cards again because I'm so grateful for those scripture cards because it's so important. Yes, it's 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 interesting using cards and bringing through messages using cards, but we have to remember first and foremost, this is for all all tarot readers. First and foremost, your mission is you're working for God, and it's a, a and I'm going to start using the scripture cards more because. It's good to see from God's point of view what um what the message is really about when you when you boil it down to to what the essence of the message is that's coming through for the collective, that's what it boiled down to tonight. It, the somebody who had no faith, who did not believe that Jesus died for their sins, did not have faith in God, they had no faith in anything you had to say to them. And then they realise that when they pray, their manifestations are coming in. And that's the card we're now getting. So people very much can change their point of view. Um, 
And I mean, I'm not saying that we have to, you know, everyone has to find their own faith. Everyone has to find their own path to God. We can't make anyone believe anything. They have to find their own way there. And I feel this masculine has. So Archangel Uriel, red, emotions, healing, devotion and integrated. So look at that. This masculine is now opened up emotionally. He is now understanding, as I say, he's now understanding his faith. He now had devotion to God where he had none at all. I know, I'm wearing Archangel Uriel's colours tonight. <laughs> That's so interesting. So I'm going to get um, Twin Flame Ascension card and then I'm going to get a Heart and Soul card to finish out the reading. Can I get a wee bit of information please on, I'll just hold on, they're all coming out too fast. Twin Flame Facilitator, Healing Abandonment. Oh. Rebirth, yep, integration. So, any other cards, please? Any other cards for this twin flame connection? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, this masculine is waking up to this connection, and it's through the power of their connection to God here. Pathway to love. This masculine's a master alchemist, so he could be working with. Saint Germain right now and Archangel Zadkiel. Surrendering Dark Knight of the Soul. Yep, that's exactly the energy I feel the masculine in right now. Working with God, working with the Holy Spirit. Cleansing karmic pattern. Definitely I feel this chakras were being upgraded. Anything else please? <laughs> okay. Reunion. <laughs> So I'll give you all the cards that come out there because we're all just flying everywhere. So let me pick them up. Ooh, okay. So soulmate energy, clearing core wounds. So you're both not only twin flames, your powerful soulmate connection as well. Twin flame facilitator. So this masculine could be a twin flame facilitator now. So what means is basically someone who is a twin flame themselves and then um i just saw two 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 a minute ago actually um so a twin flame facilitator is someone who is a twin flame and who then helps other twin flames to come into union so it's almost like a twin flame facilitator they um they speed up your ascension process like they did with me like <laughs> It, two years literally to the day um, from when I started my spiritual awakening till I went, ended a cycle um, it's because you're meant to help other twins so everything is kind of you, they speed up your ascension and help you feel faster just because you're meant to be helping other twins get onto their path so this masculine is definitely some sort of twin flame facilitator Clearing karma, kundalini activation. So this masculine's getting some sort of kundalini activation now and it's to clear away all his karmic patterns and stuff like that from the past. Um, activating the higher chakras, clearing the energy blocks. So I told you someone here had a lot of blockages in their chakras that's getting cleared away, but I do feel like all the, the crown chakra and the soul star and everything's getting activated in this masculine. Master act, al Alchemist Violet Flame activation. So um, Saint Germain definitely initiating this masculine. I am enough. Let go of expectations. So I feel you that's you, Divine Feminine. You have had to let go of your expectations of when your masculine is going to return. And that is the best advice for all Divine Feminines. Just when you know they're coming back, that's all you need to know. You know your twin's coming back. You know your twin loves you. You just sit and relax. Be in your divine feminine energy. Don't let anything phase you. Stay aligned. Stay positive. Stay giving yourself all the love. Treat yourself like the goddess you are. And understand you are enough. Because that is what's going to bring your person in. Surrender, dark night of the soul. As I say, I feel your masculine was in a dark night of the soul right now. Rebirth, so it says personal freedom unleashed. 
So when your person comes out of this dark night of the soul, that's almost like the divine masculine is going to be unleashed again. Um, so integration, multi-dimensional healing. Now, if you look at this, the healing hands here on either side, and this is all the different. So this is like healing from the archangels, but also multi-dimensional beings. And they're healing, they are healing you and your masculine together. So they're integrating your energies. You're, they're healing your energies and integrating you back together. But you're, there's a lot of energy come through here from multi-dimensional beings. Healing abandonment, time to forgive. Again, there's that card of forgiveness. Now, that is the most important thing for all Divine Feminines right now. Finding the strength to forgive your person because you know they're going to come back. It's only a matter of time. If you're doing the healing work and you're healed and focused on yourself and in your divine purpose and staying aligned, it's only a matter of time till your person comes back. So the main thing you need to prepare for now is forgiveness. And that is the key. So take me home, pathway to true love. That is the key back to true love with your person. It's union. Look, 1111. That is what's going to take you guys back to each other, your pathway back home. And I love how it's the gold wings on our side of the heart. Definitely the angels will be singing when you guys come back together. And that is going to happen. Reunion. Reconciling your differences. You and this person are coming into union very, very soon. I feel that. And it's just, it's just a case of when. And are you ready for it, Divine Feminine? Are you ready to open your heart and forgive? <laughs> this high priest who is now seeing beyond the illusions. Honour your agreement. So, see it says mission in motion. You and this person have made some sort of agreement in past lives to awaken each other. And now you're honouring your agreement. You've, you've awakened each other. Compassion. High Priestess, so High Priestess, be in your compassionate, be in your beautiful compassionate energy when this masculine comes back. I know they messed up, because all the Divine Masculines do, whether man or woman, it does not matter. But just know um, and acknowledge, take responsibility, both of you take responsibility um, for the fact that you, you have to find some sort of compromise here. To bring balance back to the connection so so let me get a heart and soul card these ones are quite hard to shuffle like the other heart cards but i'll do my best can i get some heart and soul cards please to finish out this reading can i get some heart and soul cards here please to finish out this reading i'm trying to shuffle as best i can <laughs> okay that one Oh, and that one. <laughs> so I'm just having a wee sing to myself. That one. Okay, and that one. Anything else? Anything else? And that one. Okay. If we've got six here, and um, I don't know what they're all going to say, but I'll read them. I don't know if I'm meant to take that one or if it was just stuck. <laughs> Um, no, they're saying no, that one. It was just stuck to the, it was stuck to the, the back of the one that came out. So I've got five. Okay. So let me see. Okay. So it's, the first one is, you are an ocean of light unfolding through the infinite space of life. Through the space between each thought, you can see your true immortal nature. The oneness of spirit that dreamt the the you know, the oneness of spirit that dreamt itself into so many as part of you like a whirlwind from heaven that appears and reappears in its endless form oh that is beautiful i definitely feel a lot of energy here with the holy spirit that is so beautiful so be bold and strong for you're the cre the creator of your own destiny look within you'll find everything you need there burst forth from your cocoon and fly I always talk about the butterfly um, feeling for twin flames. So someone, this masculine is bursting out of his cocoon. 
The sky is the limit if you follow your heart and your own inner guidance. Listen to what others say, but do not blindly follow their advice. And there's that one there, and there's the back of that one. So do not discount your imagination for it, it has great power. Amazing things will unfold for you if you pay attention to your imagination. Respect and honour it for just below the surface of this seemingly real world, there exists a dreamlike world full of imagination. What you imagine is not fiction. Very often it can be the beginning of a wonderful new creation. So definitely someone's got powerful creative abilities here, either you or your Divine Masculine or both of you. So there's that one there. I'm just showing the artwork in the back because the artwork in the back is beautiful as well. So um, through the power of love, all shall unfold in the most perfect way for you. For all can for the most perfect way for all concerned. This card is a blessing from an angel who is here to reassure you that all is well. There is no need to worry. All is bathed in a sea of divine love. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is that? And look at the back of that one. And last but very not least, a smile fills your heart with longing. Through the magnetism of divine love, you merge with another. And love becomes an all-embracing thought between you. Twin flame union. By a touch, a word or a glance, love heals, unites, transforms and transfigures all things. This is your season of love, a time of positive transformation and a time of happiness. Oh my goodness, what a way to end. That is just absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love it. So... Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for, for liking the video. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for your emails. As a, those of you that are waiting on personal readings, I will get back to you. I just don't do a lot of personal readings, so it takes me a while to get through them, but I will respond to everyone who's waiting. And so all I can say is thank you all once again. I really appreciate all the love you bring to this channel. You make this channel great. I'm nearly at 7,000 followers. Now I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to do a separate video with the prize I have and how I'm going to work it because I made a decision about it, which I'll tell you in that separate video, but I won't bore you with that just now. But thank you all so much. I am so truly grateful to each and every one of you, okay? So take care, everyone, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.